Hi guys, I have a bad surprise for you today. I know this probably feels awful to you. And awkward. And awkward. Guess what? There's a lump in my ponytail. You're fine. Guess what? It feels awful and awkward for us too. You can't even see the crucifix. What a bad day. I have to like do some of that. That's good for the old lady. Oh, well, it's not good for the viewers. What viewers? <laughs> I believe in you. You'll show up someday. Welcome to the prayer. Reflection from the prayer of recollection. I'm Anna. I'm Martha. And it's windy outside. Let's listen. Let's have let's have a little listen. Heart, as they say. That's the wind. It's pretty warm out though. There's the top of the crucifix sticking on Martha's head with all the horn. Got it. Got it. Ooh. Here's this angle. So is all our clothes though. Maybe this angle. Right there. Okay, here's our new angle. Okay, you read first, Anna. Oh, me read? Mm -hmm. But I'm having trouble holding the camera here, so still. You want me to read? I don't know, I can read it. Today is June 9th, 2020. We're reading from John and we're reflecting on prayer of recollection. We're reading from John 3, 1 through long verse. 21. 1 through 21 today. 1 through 21. People. That may ring a bell in some of you's minds. Probably not. But you'll find out why in a minute. I think we should do running commentary today because this is kind of a long one. What do you think, Anna? Okay. Look at my terrible hair. Yeah. What's going on? What is going on? I don't Where'd know. Where'd your 90s mom hair go? I don't know. I was only like that for like two days. I think it was the stage of after being washed stage in. Mm. Anyway, my hair looks so bad. It's kind of unlike you to really get into that. I know my hair never looks so good all the time. Yeah. I need a grease hat. I don't see anything. Okay, well. I don't really have a good grease hat. So, okay. Very wait, ready? I have no, one. no, no. Oh, that. Yeah, I thought you were going to put the bowl of oatmeal on your head. No. Okay, I'm Mary. <laughs> Here, Mary, let me... That's I, good. Can um, I... No, my hair. Can I help you, Mary? No, you ruined it. <laughs> Sorry. You ruined my hair. Okay, finally. After... <laughs> Look at my terrible hair. Look what you did to me. Okay. After... You know, three and a half minutes of ado. Here's meaningless ado. Meaningless. Much ado about nothing. This has a little meaning. Your hair. My hair. The wind. The new camera angle. The wind. The wind. Yeah, everyone. The has. wind is actually the foreshadowing. The wind is actually foreshadowing. I'll put that on the screen when we start talking about it. Okay. Ready? Ready. Ditch. Okay. Okay, here we go. Oh, are you reading? Yeah, you're reading. Maybe we should read in unison. Let's do voices. You read. You okay, be who's narrator. Who? Who's who? You be narrator and Jesus. I'll be Nicodemus. Oh. Who do you want to be? I'm Nicodemus. Oh, okay. I'll be narrator and Jesus. I'll be Jesus. I'll be Jesus. Okay, you're narrator and Jesus. Okay. You sure you can be Nicodemus? No, I can do it. There was a man named Nicodemus, a Jewish religious leader, who was a Pharisee? Who was a Pharisee? After dark one evening, he came to speak with Jesus. Rabbi! Thumbs down, give him a new voice. Rabbi! Rabbi! Make him sound old. Oh. Rabbi! Too old. Rabbi! <laughs> he said, We all know that God has sent you to teach us. Your miraculous signs are evidence that God is with you. <laughs> Good. Jesus replied, I tell you the truth, unless you're born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. What do you mean? 
Bitcoin Nicodemus. How can an old man get back into his mother's womb and be born again? Jesus replied, I assure you, no one can enter the kingdom of God without being born of water and the spirit. Humans can reproduce only human life, but the Holy Spirit gives birth to spiritual life. So don't be surprised when I say, you must be born again. The wind blows wherever it wants. Just as you can hear the wind, but can't tell where it comes from or where it's going, Cotton Eye Joe, so you can't explain, it doesn't say Cotton Eye Joe, so you can't explain, can't, can't explain how people are born of the Spirit. How are these things possible? <laughs> Nicodemus asked. Jesus replied, You are a respected Jewish teacher, and yet you don't understand these things? I assure you, we tell you what we know and have seen, and yet you won't believe our testimony. But if you don't believe me about but if you don't believe me when I tell you about earthly things, how can you possibly believe me if I tell you about heavenly things? No one has ever gone to heaven and returned. But the Son of Man has come down from heaven, and as Moses lifted up the bronze snake on a pole in the wilderness, so the Son of Man must be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in him will have eternal life. For this is how God loved the world. He gave his one and only Son, so that everyone who believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. God sent his Son into the world, not to judge the world, but to save the world through him. Should I tell them about the quotations thing? What was the quotations thing? Where they don't have quotations. Sure. Okay, apparently in the original text, they didn't have quotations to say where Jesus stopped talking. And so, the, com the people just put them in where they thought they were. But, they have the rest of this passage as Jesus saying it. But I don't think it was Jesus saying it. I think it was John commentating. Just putting that on the record. There you go. Save the world through him. There is no judgment against anyone who believes in him, but anyone who does not believe in him has already been judged for not believing in God's one and only Son. And the judgment is based on this fact. God's light came into the world, but people loved the darkness more than the light, for their actions were evil. All who do evil hate the light and refuse to go near it for fear their sins will be exposed. But those who do what is right come to the light so others can see they are, that they are doing what God wants. Here's the tea. Here's the reasons I think that was John and not Jesus. Reason A. He talks in a different style than Jesus. Reason B. He's talking about the light, which is nowhere else in Jesus and Nicodemus' conversation, but what John has been reiterating strongly throughout the few chapters that we have from read one. from the first part. So it would make more sense for John to have put this in to tie this passage in with his theme than for Jesus to have said it. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk, if that is my opinion. Good. Very nice. I like that. One of the things that Anna and I talked about was that um, it's interesting how differently Jesus deals with Nicodemus than the other Pharisees. Yeah, well, and we're comparing that to Luke, so part of it could be a writing style, too, I suppose. But um, in Luke, but he never... Even content-wise. Content-wise, he doesn't ever... I don't oh, remember him ever... You see his little arm. There's his arm. There's his hem. I don't think he ever talks like this to a leader, a, a Pharisee, or anyone, really, in Luke. So we were just hypothesizing that somehow Jesus must have known... That there was something different about Nicodemus's heart. He came at night. He came at night. He was not asking in front of the crowd. No, he wasn't in front of the crowd. After dark, he came to speak with Jesus. Mm -hmm. My theory was that Nicodemus um, wanted the truth. He thought he wanted the truth, but he didn't really know what he was talking about. Yeah. And Jesus was trying to show him that he didn't know what he was talking about to guide him to the right place. He kind of needed to shake him a little bit to get his attention. In fact, that's why I think he threw in the whole, unless you're born again, you can't see the kingdom. He used that analogy because he knew it was going to shake Nicodemus. That's my theory. Interesting. <laughs> he wanted Nicodemus to be all like, what? What does that mean? And then, and then 
when he said, when he said that, you can't get back in your mother's womb again. It was like Jesus had him right where he wanted him. I can make the baby seem really sweet. Yeah, he does seem sweet, doesn't he? Sweet old man. Poor old man. He doesn't know what's going on. And then it's interesting to ask yourself, does he ever show up again? I don't remember. Not in Luke. It's interesting to ask yourself, what is underneath his question about how can an old man go back into his mother's womb and be born again? Like, what's what's the underlying... He wants to know. He doesn't think that it's possible. But what does it belay about his... Is that the right word? Belay? About I'll his, put the definition on the screen. <laughs> about his mindset. Nicodemus' mindset. Oh, there's a ding dong. Hang on a sec. Our doorbell just rang. It's our piano teacher. She's dropping off new books. She stayed about six feet away. Oh, Marcy's back. Hi. Little winded. A little winded. She's been running. So what I was getting at there is I think that what was underlying his question is he's setting up the the train of thought that life is physical, tangible, visible. Sorry. <laughs> the circus got out. The circus snuck out. That's a story for another day. Which Jesus is about to cut it down. Like a tree. He's about to say, we got a whole new arena opening up. A whole new world. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. What else did we think was interesting? We just don't understand the thread of this conversation. It's a little strange. We're like... We're like... Both of our eyes. Yeah. It's interesting, though, the wind. This is about wind, how the Holy Spirit is like wind. It's really, really windy here tonight, you guys. We have a lot of wind going on here. It's really dark out right now. So if I tried to show you, you probably wouldn't be able to see. But it's very windy. We opened the window and we felt the Holy we Spirit wind. We put our wind. hand out. Yeah, it's so good. Put your hand out, Martha. I didn't have the highlighter at the time. We, we put felt our hand the out Holy the Spirit. window. We felt the wind. And mm -hmm. we were like... You're like, what, that's what heaven feels like. So then when Jesus says, you're a respected teacher and you don't understand these things, I kind of felt like he was saying, that was mean. I kind of felt like he was no saying. No one's ever heard of those things before. He's like, you don't understand this thing but they, that no one has ever thought of before. And I just told you about it and you're the first person ever to know. And you're a respected teacher. <laughs> Come on. But he had to give him a little shake up, wake up, you know? He had to give him a little shake up, wake up. No, he didn't lie. Yeah, he did. He, how could you ask him for not knowing this if no one knew this? We're going to put this argument aside and we're going to ask you this mystery. Verse 11. All of a sudden we go to, I assure you, we tell you what we know and have seen. And you won't believe our testimony. 12, right back to, but if you don't believe me when I tell you. What? Where does that come from? Who's this is the like we? an axe when Luke suddenly jumps in and he's like, well, we went to Philippi. Oh, yeah, that's true. But I don't think that's, I don't think this is. But that's just not that. It's not Luke jumping in the missionary journey. No. We don't know what it is. My only two theories were he's referring to himself with the prophets. Jesus is a prophet. He's putting himself with other prophets. Or as a part of the Trinity. I'm going to have to go with Trinity between those two theories personally because. He goes on to say that he came from heaven and that no human has been to heaven and back and seen what it's like. So they can't really testify to that is how I take that. Well, the prophets didn't come back after they went to heaven. Only Jesus, God and Holy Spirit, have been to heaven and come to earth. Really, only Jesus, actually. Well, the Holy Spirit was there with him. It does Holy say that. Spirit came to earth. Did come to earth, and he was with Jesus. And God's been to earth. So I uh, maybe Moses was, has seen his and he has been back. talking about the Holy Spirit, and about Moses. Jesus and the Holy Spirit. Okay, I hear you rambling about people seeing God. I'm sorry, I called it rambling. All three of them have been to Earth. I was on your okay. train, okay, that's and good. your train drove away without I'm me. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
Okay. We're also a little confused by that. But if you don't believe in me when I tell you about earthly things, how can you possibly believe when I tell you about heavenly things? Like, we were like, wasn't he talking about heavenly things? But we decided that spiritual rebirth and the kingdom of God are earthly things. Yeah, that's what we decided it must mean. So, um, let's see. What else did we have? Anything else on this on this last part here? I don't know. I like this last part a lot. What do you like about it? Which part do you like? I like just the part that talks about how... Oh, we never mentioned our thing. That was John 3.16. <gasps> right? Everyone reads John 3.16, but reading the context, we don't know what's going on. Yeah. We might read our fancy commentary. And get back oh, yeah, to we have our... our Show them our fancy commentary. commentary. It's the new one I got. This Look at us. We're... We're basically... This is recommended by Timothy Keller. Professionals. We're, we are, we've become pros now. You may you may have we're heard us the other day when we were looking up the water... Something about the water jugs? Um, that was that story. That Mary and Jesus story? Oh, why he said, my time has not yet come, and then yeah. he did it anyway. And Anna said, we looked up one on the computer while we ordered the computer book, and we have it now in person. This is our new... Oh, professional. So, anyway... We may read about that. So we'll get back to you. So if we find anything. We find anything. And maybe if we don't. Until then. Ciao for now. We praise you, Jesus. Mm. This is our praise hands. We praise you, Jesus. We're covering your face with them. That's okay. Okay, bye.